हेलो बच्चों दिस इज मोहम्मद इनाजुल्ला फ्रॉम द साई मेदा कोचिंग सेंटर कोटी हैदराबाद सो इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन वन शॉर्टकट रिलेटेड टू द टॉपिक लिमिट्स ओवर हियर सो इन दिस वीडियो आल्सो विल बी गोइंग टू सी वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग शॉर्टकट ओवर हियर रिलेटेड टू द लिमिट्स बाय यूजिंग दिस शॉर्टकट डायरेक्टली बाय सीइंग द क्वेश्चन वी कैन राइट द आंसर Okay, direct answers we can write over here. Okay, now in that uh, in the previous video, what I have told you means limit x tends to zero sin a x by x is equals to a tan a x by x is equals to a sin a x by sin b x equals to a by b. Similarly, like that we have taken over here. So if you have not watched that video, first watch that. That is very interesting video we are having. Now let us uh, continue one more shortcut. Okay, now whenever we are having the question as listen carefully. Now we are having limit x tends to zero. We are having one minus cos. Okay. Suppose we are taking one minus cos two x divided by x square. Okay. This part we are having over here. One minus cos two x by x square. This is the question we have taken. Now if you are substituting the x value, what we are getting the answer? X value zero over here. Zero means two into zero zero. Cos zero value, cos zero value, cos zero value, cos zero value. One, one minus one, it is equals to zero divided by again x value. What we are having zero. Okay, so we are getting zero by zero. I think you know what is the indeterminate form we are having. We will be having seven indeterminate form. How much? Seven, seven. Okay, zero by zero, infinity by infinity, zero into infinity, infinity minus infinity, zero power zero, infinity power zero, one power. Infinity, all that are indeterminate form. So in this also, we'll be getting indeterminate form. Indeterminate, indeterminate form. Okay, if you are getting this part. Now what we are doing is let us apply some formula. Some changes we'll be doing in the question over here. Okay, see this part now. Now what we are doing? Limit x tends to zero. As we are having one minus cos two x by x square. Okay. Now for this, I'll be giving some simple concept over here. See this part. Whenever we are having one plus cos two x, what we are having one plus cos two x. What we have to write the answer two cos square x. What we have to write a uh, two cos square x. Similarly, if you are having one minus cos two x over here, then what we have to write a uh, 2 sin square x. Okay, these are most important formula we'll be having from the trigonometry topic. Which topic? Trigonometry topic. Okay, 1 plus cos 2x means 2 cos square x. 1 minus cos 2x means what? A 2 sin square x. Okay, so as we uh, we are having 1 minus cos 2x over here. So in the place of 1 minus cos 2x, what we can write? A 2 sin square x. Okay, now divided by what we are having? X square. Okay, this part we are having. Now what we are doing? This two I have written outside because it is constant. Now next one. Limit x tends to zero. We are having sine square x by x square. Both are square. So what we are doing means uh, sine x by x. Sine x by x uh, whole square we have taken. What we have taken? Sine x by x uh, whole square we have taken over here. Now again what will happen? Two into if you are applying the limit for this part. Okay, as we have discussed in the previous video, d by d x. Sorry, limit x tends to zero. Limit x tends to zero. Sine x by x is equal to what we are having one. So sine x by x is equal to one means uh, then we are having square also for this part. One square. One square means one. Two ones are two. Okay. So this was only one minus cos two x means directly we have written. Suppose if it is uh, listen carefully now. If it is one plus cos x. If you are having only one plus cos x, two is not there. Then what we have to write? Two uh, cos square x by two. If you are having one minus cos x over here, then what we have to write? Two uh, sin square x by two. If you are using this formula, means again some more steps will be increased over here. It will become more complicated. Okay. Now we'll be seeing this type of questions, a shortcut for this type of questions over here. Okay. It is very interesting. Let us see this part. Now first two formula. First two formula. What we are having? See this one. Now, whenever we are having limit x tends to zero, limit x tends to zero, one minus cos a x divided by x. What we are having? One minus cos a x. A means we have taken two over here. We can take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Any number we can take over there. So one minus cos a x by x we have taken. 
over here x square we are having but first we have taken divided by x so whenever we are having the denominator as x over here what we are having denominator is x the answer will be shunya zero what will be the answer zero now next one limit x tends to zero we have taken now next part same part we are taking 1 minus cos a x divided by now i have taken x square okay what we are taking 1 minus cos a x by x square we have taken now listen carefully now whatever the a value we are having over here that value we have tried it as a square what we are writing a square a value whatever we have we have tried a square divided by if you are having x square over here x square means we have tried 2 whenever we are having x square we have tried 2 over here this is a most important formula that's it understood now whatever the divide by x square we are having what we have taken by 2 we have taken okay and whatever the a value will be there that value we have tried a square by 2 okay now this is most important formula now by using this only we'll be making some other formula also Yes or no? Some other formula we will be making over here. See this part now. Now, second, next formula. Limit x tends to 0. Now, we have taken 1 minus cos ax by x square we are having. So, now what we are doing means 1 minus cos ax divided by 1 minus cos bx. Now, this part we are having. 1 minus cos ax by 1 minus cos bx we are having. Okay? Now, listen carefully. So, first what I am doing means, sir. I will be explaining this part first, then we will be writing the direct formula. Okay. Now, first one, limit x tends to 0. Actual formula we are having it as this part and this part. These are the two important formulae. If you are having divided by x, we have tried 0. If you are having divided by x square, we have tried that part. Okay. Now, see this one. So, what we are doing over here, 1 minus cos ax divided by 1 minus cos bx we are having. Okay. Let us assume we are dividing by x dividing by x over here. Okay, both numerator and denominator we are dividing by x. If you are dividing by x over here, if you are applying the limit for this numerator, divided by x means what is the answer? 0. Divided by x means what is the answer? 0. Ah, again we are getting 0 by 0 only. So, instead of dividing by x over here, let us do one thing now. Dividing by x square, dividing by x square. Okay, like this we are taking. Now, for this what is the formula we are having over here? See this part. For this, what is the formula? A square by 2 divided by. For this, what is the formula? B square by 2. 2, 2 gets cancelled. What is the answer we are getting? A square by B square. Okay, like this we have to remember. So, instead of taking all this part, what we have to do? Listen carefully. 1 minus cos ax by 1 minus cos bx is there. So, A value we are having, we have to write A square. Okay, divided by b value we are having, we have to write a b square. That's it. Okay, so if it was divided by x square, then we have to write by 2 also. But we are not having now, so we are not writing that part. Okay, now let us make one more formula over here. Limit x tends to 0. Okay, now suppose we are having cos ax minus cos bx divided by x square. This part we are having. Okay. It is equals to cos ax minus cos bx by x square we are having. So, what I have told you, whenever we are having denominators x square, what we have to write? Uh, by 2 we have to write. Now, in this part, a was there, we have written a square. In this, what we are having? b. Last part. Last part, what we are having? b. We have to write b square. Okay. Over here, we are writing 1 means we are not writing for that part. Anything we are not writing. But over here, b square we have taken minus, uh, again what we are having? a square. So, b square minus a square by 2. Okay. Now, next. Last formula. Let us take last formula now. Now, limit x tends to 0. Whenever we are having cos ax minus cos bx divided by cos cx, cos cx minus cos dx we have taken. Okay. It is equals to. Now, divide by x square was there. We have written by 2 over here. But in this, we are not having divided by x square. So, directly we have to write the values only. What are the values we are having? b square minus a square. We have to start from right side. b square minus a square divided by d square minus c square. Okay. These are the formula we are having for this concept. This video will be discussing this part. Okay. Now, now let us revise it fast first okay now let us revise it over here now first one whenever we are having limit x tends to 0 1 minus cos ax by x if the denominator is x what is the answer 0 okay now limit x tends to 0 1 minus cos ax by x square if you are having x square then we have tried a square by 2 okay next 1 minus cos ax by 1 minus cos bx means what we are having a square by b square next cos ax minus cos bx by x square means what we are having b square minus a square by 2 
okay next one limit extends to zero cos ax minus cos bx by cos cx minus cos dx it is equals to b square minus a square by d square minus c square now let us start the questions related to this uh, shortcut what we have discussed okay now first question what is the first question we are having limit x tends to 0 limit x tends to 0 1 minus cos 2x by x is equals to what a 0 because the denominator is x over here if you are having the denominator is x directly what we have to write a 0 next part 1 minus cos 6x by x square if you are having x square what is the formula a square by 2 what is a value 6 so 6 square means 6 6 are 36 divided by 2 it is equals to what is the answer we are getting 18 next part 1 minus cos m theta by 1 minus cos n theta what is the direct formula m square by n square next one cos 5x minus cos 3x by x square so what i have told you only numbers we have tried in square form let us see this part 3 square 3 square will become 9 minus 5 square will become what 25 divided by if you are having x square means what we have to write by 2 that's it okay so it is equals to 9 minus 25 means what we can write now minus 16 divided by 2 2 ones are 2 eights are it is equals to minus 8 okay now let us go with the next question now limit extends to 0 cos 4x minus cos 2x by cos 3x minus cos x we are having now if you are seeing this number over here what is the number we are having 2 2 square 2 square 4 minus 4 square 16 divided by 1 square 1 minus 3 square 9 it is equals to 4 minus 16 if you are having 4 minus 16 minus 12 divided by 1 minus 9 means minus 8 minus minus cancel 4 threes are 4 twos are it is equals to what 3 by 2 we are having the answer as 3 by 2 okay now let us go with the next question over here. Limit x tends to 0, 1 minus cos 2x divided by x into sin 2x we are having over here. Okay. Now, for this question, what we are doing, let us see this part. Limit x tends to 0 we are having, 1 minus cos 2x divided by x into sin 2x we are having. Okay. This part we are having over here. So, if you are taking divided by x, divided by x over here, listen to this part carefully. If you are taking divide by x over here, divide by x, then what will happen? If you are applying the limit for this numerator, if you are applying the limit for this numerator, as we are having denominators x over here, answer will be what? 0. Now, this part, this x, x gets cancelled over here. Now, if you are applying the limit for this part, then x value 0, sin 0, it is equals to 0. We are getting what answer? 0 by 0. Okay. So, instead of taking, King. now listen carefully instead of taking by x by x over here we will be dividing by x square dividing by x square okay like this we have taken now let us apply the limit for this part if you are applying the limit for this sir what is the formula we are having a square by 2 a square by 2 means a square 2 square will become 4 4 by 2 divided by okay now this 1x 1x gets cancelled over here now whenever we are applying the limit for this part sin 2x by x we are having what we are having sin 2x by x means limit x tends to 0 as we have discussed already sin ax by x it is equal to what a similarly uh, sin 2x by x is equal to what we can write now 2 it is equals to if you are cancelling this part 2 1s are 2 2s are means 2 by 2 it is equals to 1 okay like this first we have to check we have to divide by x by x over here if you are getting the answer that is enough if you are not getting the answer means we are getting as 0 by 0 like that again then we have to take by x square by x square okay now last question limit x tends to 0 secant to 4x minus secant 2x divided by secant 3x minus secant x we are having okay cos part we have we have written just now same part now but we are having secant over here so whenever we are having the second part nothing we have to do we have to do reverse of this part over here we have started from right to left in the secant we have to start from left to right what we are starting left to right over there what we have taken right to left left to right okay now see this one what we are having 4 square 4 square means 16 minus 2 square means 4 divided by 3 square 9 minus 1 square 1 it is equals to 16 minus 4 means 12 divided by 8 4 3s are 4 2s are what is the answer 3 by 2 Okay, what is the answer we are having? 3 by 2. So, in this video also we have discussed one more shortcut related to the topic limits over here. Okay, in the limits what we have taken? First shortcut we have discussed sin ax by x equals to a, tan ax by x equals to a. 
Next one we have taken 1 minus cos x by x equals to 0, 1 minus cos x by x square is equals to a square by 2. Remaining formula we are making with the help of this part only. Okay. So in this video, one more part we have completed. In the coming video, one more shortcut will be discussing related to the topic limits over here. Okay. So if you have enjoyed this uh, video over here, please share this video with your friends in your WhatsApp group also. Okay. Thank you very much.